Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create tokens on the Vexenium blockchain. There will be two stages for this tutorial. The first one is, prepare software and tools for making the smart contracts. The stage two, preparation of the token contract, world development, and the steps to use the token contract. Let's move to stage one. The first thing we need to do is we need to check the OS we use. Here I use Linux with Ubuntu 18.04, 64-bit, 8GB distribution. Then, prepare Trifax accounts with adequate resources because we are using a smart contract. We need resources to use the token contract. Then we will use the terminal. Here I use the default Ubuntu terminal. You can adjust it according to your OS. Then, we will install binaries and install FaxCDT. Visit FaxAnim GitHub. Then open the repositories. Choose Fax not Plyfax. Download the packages Ubuntu 18.04. Install the Ubuntu 18.04 dev packages. Let's check it first. Our download is already available. If it is already installed, then we will install the fax CDT. Back to repositories, select fax CDT, download fax CDT, install the fax CDT, check the download first. The facility is already available. Then, do the installation. If it is already installed, please proceed to the second stage. Here are the steps for second stage. In stage 2, we need to prepare a token contract. Back to Vexenium GitHub. Open different repositories. Select fax contracts, select fax contract v161, select fax token. Here are the steps for it. First, we need to create a contract directory. Then we will enter the contract directory. If you have entered it, we will download the source code. Copy the command to download the token contract. If it has been downloaded, go to fax token directory. Let's just copy it. If you have entered it, compile the source code. Just copy it. If the smart contract source code has been compiled, check again. Here are already available files, fax token ABI and fax token WASM. Next, do the wallet development. In developing wallet, we will type the Clifax command. Clifax can be used in any directory because we used the packages earlier. First, make a wallet. Please back up your wallet password in a safe place. If so, we will check the wallet. Here the status is default wallet. The status means the wallet is in use and is not locked. Then we will open the wallet again. Here the default wallet is available as before. Then we check again. 
Because the wallet is re reopened, here the wallet status is locked. No asterisks are shown. Then we will unlock the wallet. Paste the wallet password that was backup earlier. Here the status has been unlocked. Let's check again. The wallet has been unlocked. Or the status is unlocked and used. The next stage, we will import Q Wallet. Here I already have three fax accounts with their private keys. We will copy the private key. If you have finished importing the key, then we will do the token contract development and use the token contract. Please follow the comments I type in, the, in this terminal. Then enter our contract account. Here I use Blazer SC Triple Two. Enter the directory where we use our token contract. Let's just copy it. Here we will do our contract account permission. If you have successfully developed a token contract, we will do a push action on the smart contract where we can use the token. First of all, we will create token. Enter our contract account. In this situation, is Blazer SC Triple Two. Then enter the action, namely create. Enter the issuer account. Here I use Blazer SC Triple One. Then enter the maximum supply. Here I use thirteen thousand. Then after the dot is the decimal digit of the token. We will enter 4 digits. Then enter the token symbol. For permission, we enter our contract account. Then the token has been created successfully. Next is we will issue the tokens. Then, to issue tokens, enter the following command. Enter the account contract, Blazer SC Triple Two. Then, the action is issue. Enter the issuer account. Blazer SC Triple Two. Enter the number of tokens that we will issue. Here I enter five thousand.
then enter the token symbol. After that, enter a free memo. Here we type 5000. For permission, we use issuer account. If you have finished issuing tokens, then we'll transfer the tokens. Enter our contract account. Then enter the action. Transfer. Enter issue an account. Then enter another account that we will transfer. Here I use Blazer SC333. Then enter the number of tokens to be transferred. I will enter, I only enter 25. Enter the memo. For permissions, we use our issuer account. If the transfer is complete, the next thing we will do is check the balance on our account. Then enter our contract account, namely Blastjar SC222. Then enter the account that we will check the balance. Here, Blajar SC Triple One account has 4,975 CNTH tokens because earlier we have transferred 25 tokens to the Blajar SC Triple Three. Then we check the account balance on Blajar SC Triple Three. according to the number of tokens that have been transferred. And that's it Vex Buddies. The tutorial for creating tokens on the Vexinium blockchain has been completed. I hope this tutorial is useful and see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.